and I'm back with another video if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to like comment subscribe and if you're returning welcome back y'all I, I at, at this point it's given it's my channel it's given I can look however I want but honestly I just feel like whenever I have my hair out I say I look crazy but it, honestly it's my hair I took my hair out of the braids very impulsively I don't know if I regret the decision yet but I'm very very tired wanted to take my hair out so i decided to do that today is saturday i'm going to be vlogging the whole day i don't have much to do but then when i start doing it it becomes much to do so i'm gonna say that now i wasn't planning on vlogging but i really need to get into the habit of just recording because i like to try to make things so detailed planned to the t and honestly I'm at a point where since I'm still starting a YouTube channel, I don't have to be like trying to make weekly vlogs or thing like that. Like I can literally take one day and record what I do during the day. Honestly, I can do that a couple days a week, but I overthink it to the point where I don't have nothing. So updates really quick. I'm going to be posting once a week. Um, either Wednesday or Sunday, a video will go up. I plan to possibly record a video today, like a sit down video, because I've been doing like a big sis type of um series where i want to do like different advice videos i did my first one i'll put it right here it was like um something on periods so that is my goal that was my whole entire goal with my channel and even like with my tiktok like i tried to be there i try to give advice because i feel like i give good advice mind you i don't take my own advice but i feel like i give good advice and just in general of understanding how it feels to grow up sometimes and i feel like you have someone to talk to about everything and things like that so yeah so i want to record um a true how to move out and like moving out tips and stuff like that because i done been through it and i have like real good tips that i did not know when i moved out so i want to share that i always do the intro so long but i'm not going to try to make the intro long if i look in this way i'm looking at myself in the mirror <laughs> There's no reason I'm just doing that. But um, as for the hair, I'm going to be washing my wig today. Um, probably doing the dishes, probably doing laundry. Um, I want to organize my bathroom. I was going to make a whole video for that, but it makes no sense. I'm just going to do it here so I can do it now. Because my bathroom is very unorganized. And I bought stuff from Dollar Tree, so I'm going to do a little Dollar Tree haul. Because I never showed you guys I show my TikTok. And guys, guys, can y'all please go follow me on TikTok and Instagram? I'm going to put them on the screen. I got to make it a habit to start speaking on them. I don't really like Instagram that much. But if y'all start interacting with me on Instagram, then I would use my Instagram more. The people on there is dry. And I really don't like feeling like I have people on social media who do not support me. Because it really just annoys me. That's like, why are you here? You know? So, until I get my subscribers on my Instagram, I probably won't use it. But I try to use TikTok a lot. But, yeah, I need to wash my wig. Put my wig on. Do my video, hopefully. Organize the bathroom. And I think that's all I'm going to do today. Because I kind of not feeling good. Kind of feeling down. So, it's like, I just don't want to feel like I'm sitting and doing nothing. But I want to do something. So first, I'm gonna do my skincare. Cause y'all, I fell asleep last night. I fell asleep, I'm so tired, I'm so mentally exhausted. I literally fell asleep while washing my face and I've been making it a commitment to wash my face every night. And every, every night and every morning. And I fell asleep and I woke up, it was like five o'clock, I was like. So, I'm gonna do my skincare. I'm gonna be having like, a video coming out at some point with like my skincare routine because I'm trying to see if what I'm doing is helping my skin uh yeah you guys will see a video soon so I'm not gonna do like show you guys what I put on my face and stuff yet but um I can say one thing I think I have to stop using something that I bought and I think it was very expensive because I see it on TikTok 
and it's basically petroleum jelly it's basically vaseline i literally look at the ingredients and it's vaseline this is basically vaseline it is vaseline it says ingredients petroleum petroleum so this i know some people some people could do it um it has a couple other ingredients mm. All right, maybe I'm talking crap. It has other ingredients. But I don't necessarily know if this is helping or hurting me. Because my face is looking so greasy. And I literally use a little bit, so I don't know. Just because I've seen that it says it's more ingredients than just Vaseline. I mean, just petroleum. Why does that smell? Like? Oh, it's the stuff. Um, yeah. So, for that... I'm not going outside today, so I'm not going to put on. I usually put sunscreen, so I'm just going to put the petroleum. <laughs> the petroleum. After I just talked about it. I literally put a little bit. But I was thinking to use this for the winter. Because my skin does get dry in the winter and wow, we didn't even get to winter yet and I'm talking crap. So maybe I might use this in the winter and then when it's like summertime, I'll just use the regular um, lotion. And I actually might get the cream, but I use CeraVe, but I'm, I'm actually probably going to get the cream next time. Like once this, I don't know, I, I, I just have to see, but I might be using this for the winter. The lotion... I possibly use but I still do want to get the cream because my skin do be dry and it's cleared up a lot right here it used to be so dry so it did help but my skin by the end of the day will be so greasy what's on my lips so I'm trying to figure out all right so I got a shower because I was like I didn't even get in the shower because I fell asleep I might as well go just get in the shower sometimes you be tired and the way I'm feeling tends to make you not want to get in the shower if you know, then you know. But I made myself just get in the shower. It actually felt good, so I'm happy that I did. Like, you know when you're sad and you don't want to, yeah, that type of feeling. But I got in the shower. Um, I was just tired, so it's not like I purposely didn't get in last night. And I'm a night shower person. If I had something very eventful happening the same day, then I would get in the shower in the morning. But, yeah, that's my rant. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I might start with the bathroom just to get it done so I can get it over with because I did not want to do it so I'm about to show you guys what my bathroom looks like and we are about to see me organize the hell out of this I need to get my iPad in my earpods because I need music all right no judgment please but this is my current like bathroom area and there's clothes at the bottom because I have to clean the um I have to fold the laundry but this is what it currently looks like then this is the sink yeah skin product galore and then I have this little thing on top of the toilet. And in here is literally all of our I medicine. i show you guys what I got from Dollar Tree that day. I got this, um, what's this called? Duster. This isn't for the bathroom, but I've seen it, so I got it. But I got the duster. I got, all right, so I got these three bins. I got all white bins and stuff i tried to stay somewhat color coordinated i know i have certain bins in the house but i don't necessarily know how i want everything yet then i got these three bins the bigger bins and then i got these three little bins so is this the marker yeah it's just a marker so um and this marker to write on the stuff for what it is so i don't know where to start but you guys are about to see me organize this so I'll see y'all when it's all done.
Okay, so here's the update. It looks a lot more neater, but I'm gonna go based off like, let me turn this light on. So here is where my towels are gonna go. I have to fold the laundry, so I may show you when I'm done folding the laundry. Right here, I put all the washcloths into this bucket. Right here is basically like all the creams and like eye stuff we have. So I just put that in this little thing because it's not too much. Then over here is what I call my sick drawer, our sick bucket, because anything that we need when it comes to being sick is in here. Um, all the medicine, cough jobs, Vicks, stuff like that, I put it in here. Then on the second shelf, I just have all my Dr. Till's salt and foaming bath soap, bath bubbles. And then next to it, I just put extras of stuff because I still need space for when I stock up on stuff. So this kind of would be where the big stuff goes. I don't really have much to stock up because I kind of replaced everything. But then over here, I just have anything that requires my period care or anything to do with her downstairs. So everything in there is for that. Down here, I literally put all my makeup. I do not do my makeup often, but I needed somewhere to put all my stuff. So everything is in there. Right here is my whole skincare bucket because everything as y'all seen was on the sink. So I put everything over here. And then over here is just my, what do you call these? Emergency kit? What do you call it? First aid kit. So over here is uh, my first aid kit. And then that's it. I just have to get the bucket when I do the laundry. But I know it's not really cute, but it's organized. So whatever. But over here we have all of the morning stuff. I'm gonna see how I like how this works, but I like how everything's not scattered all over the sink. But everything that is for the morning is right here. Tongue scrapers, toothpaste, floss, and mouthwash, soap, toothbrush, uh, Vaseline, because every morning I put Vaseline on my lips um, when I go to shower and stuff. Right here, I just have the dry brush, because I have no clue where to put that, to be honest. We not. I don't necessarily use it a lot, so that's why it sits there. But right here is basically hair stuff, my friend's uh, hair stuff. So honestly, I don't really, I have a whole hair room for my stuff, but this is what he uses. Up here, I decided to make us two bins. So this is his bin, this is my bin. It has my vitamins and I take more vitamins because I be doing my research. But yeah, so our deodorants and our vitamins are needs for the morning. And I tried to make it as convenient as possible. So I've currently been on TikTok for almost three hours. I did do the laundry though. So I did the laundry.
Okay guys, so I'm completely done with my hair. She's gonna poof up as it gets dry, but I literally sat there watching TikToks for so long. Because this is my chill day. I need to get my mental together. But I mean I could organize the bathroom, did the laundry, did the dishes, and I'm about to cook. That's gonna be the last thing I'm gonna do in this video. So I'll come back when I'm cooking and I'm making Salisbury steak and potatoes my way because I don't eat ground beef, so I put ground turkey. But I still use beef broth to get the vibe. So yeah. Okay, y'all. So we about to switch it up. I kind of forgot to record me cooking. But I'm going to include what me and my boyfriend did Halloween night. We just painted pumpkins, so I'm just going to add that to the end of the vlog. Fuck your pride.